And so the baby Luma basically uh, 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 commits jump die in Minecraft. And then it like terraforms uh, 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 into a new planet. There we go. Haha! -ha! I want to be skilled platforming man. You could go to that planet, but all it does is just give you more uh, access to stuff. So this we have to find the entrance in. Because that launch star will take us to the end. Alright, now where's the entrance? Uh, I believe it's this? Yes. Alright, now here we get introduced to gravity. These, uh... These gravity platforms are part of a series of puzzles. Basically, whatever uh, arrow uh, direction they're pointing to, that that is the direction that uh, uh, that the gravity will be at. And there you go. Now these get a lot harder later on because uh, well, because it gets interspersed with like black holes and enemies and such so of course it's gonna be a bit harder that's a surprise to nobody and I'm sure that everybody expected that then again if you're watching this you probably already played it okay so you have to be really careful here you don't want to fall off that would not be good Because you can technically fall off here. Uh, if your gravity is a little bit off center. Like you move around too much and whatnot. Then you're going straight into the void. In fact that's why that black hole is right there. It's threatening. But it's to tell you something. Now I don't like platforming uh, uh, upside down like this. It gets me way too worried. All right, now these are a pain. Uh, there we go. You had to do that. That's what I was trying to do. I don't like those because I'm, uh, well, there's a chance that you can miss, and completely not grab, and then die. There we go, we got our three. Now we can move on, you discovered a new galaxy! Huzzah! We've done it. We've discovered a new planetoid. I believe if we go back, we get, uh, we have one more thing to do? I want to say yes. I could be wrong. Nope, oh, yep, yeah, nope. We have that, but let's see what new galaxy we have. Honey Hive! Let's go back here. I think we can do this one right now, I believe. I want to say we can? Because some of them you need certain power-ups uh, even unlocked. Oh yeah, nah, if we... We, we could totally do this. King Caliente's Battle Fleet. This is the first, uh, this is the first of the, uh, bosses, actually. It's a boss with this, but the airship. Well, technically yes, technically no in that regard, because, uh, uh, it's weird. Because you can do these in any order that you want, per se. Because, like, you don't have to do, uh, uh, all of them for a single galaxy. You don't have to do them, uh, like, that's the glory of it, is that, like, you always have, uh, uh, s uh stars accessible. Or, well, for the most part. Dang it. Come on. I have made it up to this house twice now. Ok, 
Okay, wait. There we go. I believe this takes us to King Caliente. Yeah. Yeah, this is his path, alright. It plays this joyous music. We can free this toad who's also in space, I guess. Because because they're all in space. No, you can hit the watermelon with those. This is to teach you about watermelon hitting projectiles. Gee, I wonder what the theme of the boss is going to be. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Direct hit, first shot. That's kind of clean. There we go. I believe that's a bonus one down there. Uh, the Change on Planet. I don't quite remember. But I want to say it is. There we go. We have the fleet of Octumbas. We have these homing in bullet bills, which are kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. There we go. Alright, we made it there. Now we just need to jump up. Perfect. Alright, now we're in the... Now we're on the battleship. Alright, so here are these guys. So in order to get them out, you have to spin the watermelons back at them, but not the fireballs. If you spin the fireball, Mario goes, oh! <laughs> Yeah, you know, he, 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 he does the Mario thing. And here we go. Oh, I almost forgot that frickin', um, uh... Uh, the Junior Piranha's a frickin' boss. What am I thinking? It's not the first boss. Okay. Alright. So here we go. King Caliente. Yeah! Oh, I love this boss theme. Oh. There we go. Alright, we got that. Perfect. So this boss is very easy, very simple. But it's when he starts doing that that it gets a little bit harder. He does it faster and faster uh, uh, each hit as he gets more angry. So, not a big fan of that. That's okay. Bam! Nice! Oh, I almost missed it. <laughs> that was very close. Ooh, close call. Alright, and then we can go over and collect our nice little star. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba da ba. And then we head back, and then we uh, I believe this guy's name is Polaris. I want to say, I could be wrong, because I didn't read the text box this time around. So we so it could be anything. Shoot, it can be John for all I know. John the Luma. There you go. Now that's a character. John. Alright, but the game has been saved. Now it doesn't show you the, the secret stars, so we'll just get the main set for now. And then come back to it later because I don't have the greatest memory of all these uh all these stars. I really don't. There's a lot of them that I uh tend to forget. But this one's a really good one. B Mario takes flight. I like this one a lot. It's one of the more fun ones. In fact, this galaxy is just a bit more fun anyways. But I can no longer take it seriously thanks to the freaking uh, uh, the guys at Games Repainted who who basically like who who took this and like mixed it with uh with Huey Lewis music, and and then it's a a a hip the fuck bees. 
buttons. It's hip to fuck bees. Bam, 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 bam. And there we go, down the slide. And here's our brand new power up. The bee mushroom. Welcome aboard. And so, our main ability is flying and sticking to honey. And I think flowers as well. I don't think we can stand on flowers with normal Mario. I think if we stand above them, uh, or on the flowers I mean, uh, they just disappear. Now it tells us to hold B and fly, but I can hold A just fine. Or you could do B, it, it, it really doesn't matter. And so here we get the weird, uh, the, the weird fetishy whatever going on, uh, oh no, ah, uh, dang it. Okay. So just like a bee, if you fall into the water, uh, you're basically screwed. So, uh, so good luck. Don't drop in the water. Or, you know, don't get hit by water like this. It's a really, uh. Really dick move right there, guys. Just put it right there. Who thought of giving Mario, like, a bee suit? Like, like, it's not a bad idea, but, like, after all these years, who, who, who thought, like, making Mario into a freaking bee would be great, but then again, uh, the, the freaking Mario Land 2 guys thought that turning him into a rabbit would be a good idea. So, I guess anything's possible at this point. Okay, so this is where we climb on the Bee Queen or whatever. It's just like, oh, oh, I'm itchy. Uh, uh, can you get this spot over here? Come here, boy. And then we're just like, ew, gross, weird. Okay, so these are easy to find. You just have to go all over her body. She would normally have dialogue if you crawl around long enough. It's just like, ooh, that, ooh, that, ooh, that tickles a bit. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't see it. And apparently, this game is what cemented her slot in Mario Kart 7 for no reason. And here's the introduction, Captain Toad. <laughs> Shout out to anyone who understands that reference. <laughs> uh, but no. So, so this is Captain Toad. He is cemented as an icon forever, so you will find him everywhere. He just happened to have a power star right here when Bowser knocked everyone into space, including Luigi, who was never shown to exist in this game. But whatever, I guess. Lu Luigi's not dead. Great. So that means that we get more Luigi games, including the mid-tier Dark Moon. Yay. Alright, so that's number five, I believe. So whenever you get taken here, uh, you get told about uh, new things. Yes. Yes, my name is Mario. Yes. And so now the Toads are over here at the observatory. They're building a ship of sorts. So basically, you just build up everything just over time. So they want to tell us something. Perfect. I will definitely go over there and talk to them when I feel like it. I don't really think they say anything of note, so it's not like we need to hurry over there. But I think talking to them might be a good benefit to us. Just in general. Made it. We'll help you get the power stars. Save the... Pr I think if we talk to them, uh, I... I, th I think we eventually get access to, like, the mail, uh, of the, like, postcards. Yeah, because there's the mail toad or whatever. The mail toad will give you things, uh, like, postcards, uh, that Luigi sends. Just like, hey, hey, bro, uh, I'm here. And, um, uh, I need help. Ah, so let's go here and see how this controls. 
So, oh boy.